let's talk about how to add a page to a notebook once your students already have a copy of the notebook. So if you have four students to make a copy of your notebook, they no longer have access to this anymore, which means if you keep going in and adding pages, they are not necessarily going to be able to have access to those. So you have a couple options. The first thing that you can do is really the simplest, but it's also the scariest because it involves you giving access to your notebook to students. So remember, you should have really two copies of your notebook. You should have a teacher copy that's fully editable, and then you should have a student copy which has things locked down like we talked about so students can't go in and change them. So we're only giving them access to the student copy. So what you will do is you will make sure, first of all, that it is published to the web, which it should already be, but if it wasn't, then here's the steps you would take. You would go to File, Publish to the Web, then hit Publish, say OK. Okay, and then you can click out of that. And then we're going to come up here to the Share button, and we are going to change the settings. So you are going to need to change it so that either anyone with the link or if your school system or school district or just your school has a setting, you can click that. So I'm going to leave that on mine. And we need to change them from viewers to editors. And then say done. And then what you can tell students is, let's say you just added this page 23 and you need them to come grab it. You can tell them, I need you to go to page 23. I need you to copy this page. Come down to your notebook and then paste it and then say do not link. Now you may say well, that's a ton of steps for students. It is, which is one reason that I don't love that idea. It also means they can go in and unfortunately mess up some of the things in your notebook. The cool thing is if they do go in and mess it up, you can always go back to your edits and go back to the time before they changed it. Um, and I would definitely remove their sharing access the day after it's done. So if I say you got one day to go grab that page or one class period and then I'm removing it and then you'll be stuck. So that's one way that you can do this. Another way that you can do this that kind of goes around this whole issue is you can create a totally separate Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to go to Google Slides. I'm going to go to blank. And we are going to need to change the settings to match ours because remember we have it set up like a sheet of paper. So I am going to go in to File and Page Setup and change it to 8.5 by 11, which is paper size. And now, if I copy this page and pull it over and say Do Not Link, I can delete this empty one. I can call this what it is, which is Creating a Product. That's the title of it and then you can do the same steps as before but now students only have access to this one page so you've really cut down um, the you've cut down the chances that they can go in and mess up your notebook and you've also cut down um, the directions because the directions now will just be come to this slide copy it and paste it in your notebook and then you'll be done and then what you can do is you already have it in your student version and teacher version so next year you won't even need to do that because it will already be in here and ready for students to use 
I will also tell you there is supposedly a Google Slides add-on that is called Slip and Slide that you can use to push out slides to your students even after they have made a copy. However, I will just tell you my district has it blocked. So if you would like to go test that out, then look it up. It's supposedly called Slip and Slide. I can't show it to you because I literally cannot access it. You just learned how to add a page to a notebook where students have already made a copy.